Okay. So we're on chapter seven. They're going to run a race. We're going to see if Carlota wins the race. There were 11 riders in the race. The men were all young. I knew some of them by their first names. I was familiar with what their horses could do. If I had been able to ride the stallion, I would have won easily. About the gelding, Sixto, I knew little. Other than that, he was easy to ride as long as he wasn't trailing the other horses. My father bet all the coins he hadn't spent on the wedding, which were equal in value to 300 cows and 12 riding horses. That's a lot of money. My father bet, oh, whoops, I'm sorry. No Mustangs, my father said to Don Cesar, his dear friend with whom he was betting. Horses of good breeding, not decrepit with old age, and the cows the same, no crowbait. But these coins, said Don Cesar, what are they? Gold, Don, Don Saturnino said. I know, but whence do they come? From Spain, my father said, telling a lie. Verdad? Es verdad. Grandfather Don Sebastian was a minister of the king's treasury. <laughs> That's a made-up story. Your grandfather stole them from the treasury? Undoubtedly, my friend. <laughs> As you would do, had you but the opportunity. As they shook hands on the bet, my father gave me a wink, and so did Don Cesar. They were good friends, but both of them liked to win. My father had advice for me as I drew up to the hitching rack and waited for the alcalde to drop his handkerchief for the start of the race. Hold back and let them all lead across the mesa. I will approach Don Cesar again while you are riding last and increase the bet. That way we may double our winnings. The gelding doesn't like to run last, I said. He'll sulk and I won't be able to handle him. Run in the pack then, my father said. But do not run first or second or even third. In the middle, I said. The alcalde's red handkerchief fell to the ground. I spurred the gelding into a gallop. But as soon as he was underway, I pulled, it on, I pulled in on the reins and fell back. Don Roberto passed me and said something that I didn't catch. He rode the fastest horse in the race, a black gelding his father had bought him as a wedding present. It was a five-year-old that had won many races around the Pueblo, of Los Angeles. Don Roberto was a good rider, but it was the horse I had to beat. The mesa was flat with short cropped grass and sloped a little to the south. I was toward the last when we reached the trail that led steeply down into the river marsh. I had been through the marsh when I had gone to the blue beach with my father. The shortest way across it was not through the center of the marsh, which was deep, but along the north edge where the water was shallow. None of the riders knew this but me. As we came to the marsh, we were now out of sight of Don Cesar and my father and everyone else. I touched the gelding with a spur, left the pack that was wading through the tulis into deep water and followed the north edge of the marsh. Don Roberto perhaps thought that I was having trouble and was about to abandon the race. He raised a gloved hand toward me and shouted, Hola, this way. Hola, I shouted back, thinking that it was nice of him to be so considerate of me. I reached the far side of the marsh before he did, before any of the other riders, including Don Palomares, who had been the king's soldier and was accustomed to marshes. Don Roberto and the rest were now a hundred varas behind, too far away for me to shout, Hola! Halfway up the rise was a zanya, a ditch filled with water that came from the river that we used to irrigate our garden of corn, frijoles, and chili. We... Could have jumped it with ease on Tiburon. I could have jumped it with ease on Tiburon, but the gelding I was not sure of, so I waded through the ditch. This cost me time, for all the others jumped it except a boy I had never seen before, who landed on his back in the middle of the ditch. At the top of the rise, I was in the lead by more than a hundred varas. The gelding was running well, and I was sure he had strength for the race across the mesa. He would not be so fast as Don Roberto's horse. No other horse in California, California del Sur was, so I needed a good lead to win. Okay, now, now we have to read chapter 8 to see who won the darn race. This author, Scott O'Dell, he's really good at the cliffhanger. He has it down. He knows what's what, how to end a chapter, that guy. He's evil. <laughs> 